is tough and there's there's not much to say about that other than the fact that it is tough but it's very doable it's very um you can get a lot a lot done during intern year one thing that i find most important about intern year is understanding your environment if you understand your environment it makes it a lot more easy and that is particularly what makes intern year tough because a lot of times you're not necessarily having to apply apply all of the medicine you know more so you're having to learn a new environment some of you will struggle with the emr some of you will struggle with the, the the map of wherever it is that you're working the most important thing you can do for yourself in intern year is to focus on your personal growth and as you go through the year you'd realize that a lot of people get carried away in you know trying to present themselves as in a particular image you know i know a lot of stuff so i can do this i did this from before i'm capable here and that is good but if you don't if you don't realize to begin with that everybody struggles everybody everybody has deficiencies and your intern year really is about figuring out those deficiencies and trying to make better of it that's the first place to begin uh and where you start residency so you have to have to at least start and focus on your personal growth i don't i don't think there would be any more you know uh, uh useful advice for your personal self as much as big as this one the next thing that i also wanted to emphasize is again like you mentioned earlier you have to understand and master your environment and the people there um one of the things that i found very useful for me in the beginning of residency is listening everywhere i could you know when anybody was talking about anything that had to do with the patient care i wanted to pay utmost attention and it wasn't not it wasn't just about the medicine part of it it was also about the 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 logistics of the hospital how the hospital ran understanding how patients for example move to the icu where they go after they leave in the icu what different units connect to the icu and things like that you know for and i'm assuming that that applies to every other every other uh, um program where you have a difficulty understanding your environment and you have to be able to figure that out as early as possible to make the rest of your intern year more more productive um the next thing i know a lot of people have probably told you about this a lot uh the next thing for you to do mostly important is to understand the nurses and do your best to listen to them um i know there's some form of uh, a contrast that happens where you know new doctors come into the environment they have their background they know what they're doing but then there's a conflict with the nurses where they they tend to feel like because they are the doctor they should always know better than the nurses and that is the farthest thing from the truth you realize that the nurses at least once they've been practicing in whatever whatever hospital you'll be working in know a lot more than you do about the system know a lot more about uh than you do about how things work they may not know all of the medicine and some people know a lot of medicine some of the nurses know a lot of medicine but they may not know a lot of, as much medicine as you do but they know a lot about the system and you can definitely use their help one of the things i find most important is when you're working in any unit do your best to learn the nurses name always ask their names before you start working with them and do your best to always address them by their name everybody wants that attention everybody wants that recognition everybody wants for you to acknowledge them and if you're calling a nurse by their name it feels as if you're involved in their their person in their dignity in their integrity and they tend to respond to you better if you're asking something from a nurse and you're saying um hi nurse can you get this done for me it's very different from you saying hey miss jones can you please get me this stuff is you realize how different that is and i think this this is also equally very important you have to be able to start things early and i, I want to be very clear about what i mean by starting things early here first for guys that are for guys that are uh prelim all right that don't have any guaranteed advanced position yet you want to start your search for your next position as early as possible 
whether it's in the program you're in or you're looking out, ideally you don't get any, you know, openings before the six month mark. But once it starts to get close to, you know, January, things start to open up, but you want to act as early as possible not wait until like April, May before you figure yourself out. A lot of times, the earlier positions that open up, if you're aggressive about trying to approach the people that are on those programs, you're better off getting spots there. And if, you're, if you have the intention of staying wherever it is that you are, you have to show that interest early on. A lot of times it doesn't work as easy, but at least you know you're doing your part. That's one. Second thing, you know, for those that are obviously starting to think of fellowship, uh, uh, positions starting early is also very important because you realize that things move very fast before you open your eye close it you, uh, open your eyes and close it you're already at the end of your at the end of your um uh, uh first year uh, at the end of the intern year and a lot of things that you could have made headway with you if you don't start early it becomes difficult to catch up one of those things is research one of the major, major, major determinant of fellowship plans and fellowship uh, 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 match is your scholarly activities. And that's primarily the research that you do. If you don't start early, for example, your first year starting to push papers out, getting them published, getting them on PubMed, it becomes very difficult trying to catch up in time for application for fellowship. And this doesn't only apply to people in categorical position, it also applies to uh, people in IAM, where you realize that at the end of the day, after this intern year, you're going to be somewhere and you're going to be most likely trying to get into a fellowship. If you want to make that more possible than not, you have to start your scholarly activities early and that's starting to get involved in research from this year. Um, it's important to be very mindful of factors that affect your productivity, you know, things even as simple as you as basic as your living space if you don't have a study desk where most of your things are you just need to get up and you know start to work then that is a problem because what you what's, what you're going to find happening more often than not is you're coming back from work you're exhausted you have so much you know resistance to be able to actually start something uh actively if you don't have an easy path to that it becomes more and more difficult um, you know, things like people you hang out with and circles you find yourself. It's important to make friends. It's important to be social as much as you can, but be mindful of things that affect your productivity and you want to make, you know, adjustments as you go on. And finally, uh, uh, on my talk here, I wanted to mention this part. I think this is the most important part for me is that residency will come and go. You know, your three years and all of that will come and go. But one thing that you don't want to lose in, that, in the space of that three years is your integrity. One of the things that you would find more important, you know, in, in, at the end of, after all of this is said and done, is to be able to finish and know that you, you, you find yourself as somebody that is reliable. Obviously, you want to be a better physician at the time. But you want to make sure that, you know, your person of your word and residence is the definite place to build that. You need to make sure that people know that about you and you have to work to continue to keep that. You know, the stress of residency, just the turmoil and all of the instabilities and uncertainties of residency can make people want to lose uh, uh, track of that. So you have to be mindful of that. So that's mostly what I just, I, I just put these things down as some of the most important things. So my email again is residencegov at gmail. Email me whatever questions you have, guys. I'll be doing a lot more of these things. I'm working on so many books in terms of uh, uh, guiding through the medicine now, um, uh, several, several uh, uh, specialties. I'm working on one for ICU. As soon as that comes out, if you, you know, in communication with me, I will definitely send you um, a copy of that. So whatever, whatever way I can help, I'll definitely be glad to do so. So I think that the meeting is ending shortly. Again, I appreciate all of you guys for stopping by. I will see you next time, next week, God willing. All right, all the best, eh? take care.